Herbert Viola. I work here, remember? I'm a little guy, sit at the desk over there. Mr. Viola, I don't give a damn. Drum roll, Viola. Mr. Viola. Help me. I'm sorry. Help I'm sorry. Me. Um... Help me. Knock it off. Hey, I didn't just fall off the turnip truck. I like it here. Nobody walks out of here, not while I'm acting Blue Moon supervisor. I like you. <laughs> nice pecs. I like Mr. Addison. Nice pecs. I like this place. Hey, it's crazy. I'm playing a ping pong. Next thing I know, we're playing hockey. It was game point, damn it. That beanbag tried to chip me out of a game. I mean, it's, uh, it's like, it's like special class in junior high school, you know? Oh! What are you doing under there? Get out! Right here, Agnes. What were you doing under there? Fiscal 85. Don't do it! Call oh, oh, people, please! Yes. This is hard enough without a Greek chorus! Oh, Herbert. I've got the beepers. There's some cute pictate in Mr. Addison's bathroom. No, Agnes. Telephone beepers. Full time employee number 007, licensed to spend. Am left for the day, Mr. Bond. Thank you, Miss Moneypenny. Sir? Brought beepers? Beepers? Circus clown? No, sir. Telephone beepers. That policeman kept asking me questions. He's supposed to ask you questions. You're a witness. You don't want my help? None of you were the last shamus in Sheboygan. The last what and where? I am on a case. You are a case. Hey, Mr. Viola! Yay! Come with me. Work with me, Bert. On this big, urgent emergency case. You and me on a case yeah. together? Am I talking too much? Huh? Maybe this is none of my business. Probably it is none of my business. 25 words or less, please. We are merchants of misery. Just take a look at this bunch, will you? As if cheap sex with a total stranger will ease the pain of their loneliness. Hi, Bert. Unusual? Remember when you asked if you were talking too much? Yeah. Oh. Go and make the angels like this. Cherry Beanie. Very I captured the entire thing on film. Do we have to if do If you'll this notice, now? I've got them arranged these in chronological order so as to coincide with the actual progression of the. Mr. Viola. Uh, this gets a little heady about halfway through the stack. This one's like a three alarm fire. Mr. Viola, maybe if you calm down. Oh, yeah, right. Sorry. Artificial stimulants. Have you ever done like seven pots of Uban at a sitting? While I'm on the subject, do we have any tomato juice? I know, Bert. So, hi, so... All right, look, can we just skip the nightly routine, please? You look like hell. You should get more sleep. It's night of the living dead. I'm in this hotel room, right? It's about 5 a.m. You can't believe the places on your body that start itching because you've been wearing the same clothes, like, all night long. What did you have for dinner last night? Uh, nachos and a jelly donut. Was it a bear claw? Oh, Miss Hayes. Subject A, McClafferty. Caucasian male. Subject B, unknown female of blonde origin. Lady, that can't be good for your face. Well, I put this baby to sleep. It's over and out. The fat lady sang. I'm always too busy running away from her. Then why not stop running? Because then she'd catch me. And then what will happen? I feel awful. This saint was willing to risk 
Who knows what kind of contagion just to take care of me? I hate it when she does stuff like that. <laughs> At the best night of our lives. Do I smell coffee burning? No. Peep, peep, peep. What happened to Pollyanna? Neep, 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 neep. So I'm thinking to myself, my gosh, it just doesn't get any better than this. Agnes? Yes? What is all that stuff on your face? About this memo. Sorry, I don't feel like rhyming just now. Blue Moon Detective Agency. Uh, if you want to rhyme, call another time. And that tacky stripper, remember? <laughs> Yuck. I know we've never enjoyed a particularly warm relationship. That's putting it mildly. I hate your guts. Whoever sired you was totally nuts. Nice talk, McGillicuddy. Hey, you got two more to go, Buster. Do them for me, squirt. I can see through you like cellophane on a ham sandwich, and what I see ain't kosher. You're a troublemaker, McGillicuddy. I should have run you over when I had a chance. My pal Herbert Viola. <laughs> and his blushing bride. Yo, Bert babe. Why didn't you make the turn? Got where the turn signal is. Owen oh, Herbert, by the way, from the bottom of my heart, thanks for the memories. <laughs>